I remember someone told me, you have to meet this guy. He's going to change the world. And he did. <laughs> I met Brian on the 2008 campaign for Obama. Sandra, what do you look for in a guy? We got it all, baby. We found out Brian had ALS the day we came home from the hospital with our second daughter. I had gone to a neurologist for what I thought was a standard checkup. The doctor said on average people live six months after they're diagnosed. Every doctor we saw said the same thing. I'm sorry, but we can't help you. The system is broken for this disease. When you're told that the world you believed you were gonna live in is no longer there, you have to either choose to curl up into a ball or act. So I turned to Sandra and said, I think I wanna start an ALS nonprofit, and her response was, <laughs> no. <laughs> and he ignored me, like he always does. If you want to defeat ALS, you need everyone working together. They took this extraordinary challenge and said, well, we're gonna go out and make things happen. If we're able to untangle ALS, we might be able to help others. I am in awe of Brian Wallach. He wants to give back and take care of the next person that gets diagnosed. I've never experienced a movement like this. It's changing history in front of our eyes. Brian's ALS has accelerated a lot. We feel like we're running out of time. Hey, Brian, we're going to do this. There's always been a way. This is going to actually work. I don't think there's any test of the human spirit more telling than someone saying, you don't have a long time to live, and responding in this way. I'm exhausted, but this is what I want to be doing. I can't keep up. You're boxing yourself. <laughs>